My work tends to be quite eclectic. I'm equally at home with a sort of big studio build of a camera, big pieces of grip equipment, uh, to getting a bit more nimble on locations, I'm saying a period house or something like that, trying to keep the form factor a bit smaller, all the way to quite extreme location work. You know, I'll often be shooting handheld on a volcano, an iceberg, a ship deck. And I've been fortunate enough that my work takes me across all those different worlds. So the one constant in across these various different types of work that I use is, is cinema style cameras. You know, I've got sort of very big build cameras on commercials and drama all the way down to smaller build cameras on documentaries, but it's always cinema style cameras and always engaging with the industry standard, a dovetail sliding base. The problem with that is speed. There's always a terrific t a pressure on time, no matter what kind of work you're doing. And countless times I've seen sort of ACs struggling to get a camera on and off a base plate, myself included. The worst case scenario with this is I've actually shot handheld with the base plate still attached because an AC can't get it off in time or I've just picked up a camera solid for the same reason. Just that getting a camera on and off uh, at speed is, is always an issue with, with the dovetail. This seems to be solved by the left field base plate where you've got a lot of the convenience you'd have on a quick release plate where you know on my own I'm just taking the camera on and off but I've still got the sort of precision and safety element of a dovetail. The workaround has been just having a real wealth of dovetail plates you know we've got a small studio here three camera bodies but we've got at least a dozen dovetail plates where we've tried to pair up each camera body with a dovetail plate, each piece of grip equipment with a dovetail plate to, to try and sort of make all this work. Uh, but that all just goes to pieces when you at extreme temperatures. You know, I filmed at plus 50 degrees out in Africa or minus 50 degrees up a mountain. And the, with the expansion and contraction of the steel, all of those tolerances are just a nonsense. If you add atmospheric conditions to this, like salt water spray, volcanic ash, then you know they're locking up even though they work back in a studio. With the engineering employed by the left field base plate, none of these tolerances really matter anymore because the plate is locking down on any of these gauges here. It even works with one of our plates that's completely out of gauge. The net effect of this kind of mismatch of gauges and bodies is you know I've often ended up operating with a camera where the locking mechanism isn't fully engaged and I've got this piece of metal stabbing me in the neck while I shoot handheld or catching on my clothing when I walk past. I mean I've heard of horror stories where you know the levers caught on someone's clothing, camera's shifted forward and the plate has gone down you know broken a lens. Um, there's a real sort of elegance and simplicity to the locking mechanism on this. I mean it's it's very unambiguous. When that's locked, it really is locked. So what I'm finding under lockdown is, you know, I'm doing a lot more work on my own, a lot more multitasking. And normally some of these technical solutions would be solved for me by, by the crew members. But I'm a lot more hands-on at the moment. And I'm just finding with a product like the left field, it's, it's just, it's working for me every time. It, it's kind of slightly foolproof and it's definitely the right tool for the job.